The great thing about Word is once we get into Word, all we have to do is open up a document and start typing. Oh, that's great. In order to do that, I'll come over to the side and choose New, and then Blank Document. Here we have a blank document, and all I have to do is start typing. Awesome. Now, if you want to open up a file that you already have, maybe somebody sent you a file to work on. Then, let's come in the top left-hand corner and click on File, and then come down to Open. Once we do this, we have the option to look on our PC, maybe look in the cloud, or over here on the right, we also have files that we've worked on before. So any of these ways, we can either search for a file or open an existing file. I will go to my Browse, and then I have some files here in Word Beginner. And let's open the Bastion Corporation file. Marin, as you can see, there are many different parts to a Word document. So let's put some names to some of these so you know where to find different functions and features. Excellent. In the top left-hand corner, we have an icon that shows us what app we're currently in. So we are in Word, we're in the right place. Then next to that, we have Auto Save and Save. We have our title as well as where it's being saved. And then we have our search. So that search is very important and we'll work with that a little bit later on. In the top right-hand corner, we have that I'm logged in, so you'll notice my name there. We also have announcements so that we can be notified of new features. And then we have some sizing options in the top right-hand corner where we can minimize or size or actually close out of our file. Notice that we're on the Home tab and we have the Home ribbon underneath that. And this ribbon is separated into groups that have names at the bottom of each group. Okay, so the groups in the Home tab would be like Undo, Clipboard, Font, those are groups. That's exactly right. In some of these groups, you'll notice in the bottom right-hand corner that there's an additional icon. I can click on this. Oh, that's a dialog box that shows font. All right, lots more features, I guess, they couldn't put on the ribbon. You're right, and here, once we click on that launcher, we can utilize or look for additional functions associated with that group. I'll choose Cancel and bring us back to our ribbon. Christina, will the ribbon always show up? That's completely up to you. One thing that you can do is you can double click on any of the tab names and it will collapse the ribbon so you have what I call more real estate down here at the bottom to look at your document or work with it. If you double click again. Oh, that's neat. It will put your ribbon back up there and keep it up there for you. Another thing that you can do is down at the end, you'll notice that you have a down arrow. If you click on that down arrow, it will give you some options like putting it in full screen mode or showing tabs only or always just showing the ribbon, which is what I have now. Okay. As we move down the page, you'll notice that we have a ruler. And then if I hover over on the side, notice that we have a scroll bar that will appear. I can use this a couple of different ways. I can either click and drag in order to move down the page or up the page. Or notice that we have these down arrows or up arrows if you need to have a little bit more control. Let's move down the page to the status bar at the bottom. Notice in the bottom left-hand corner, we have the number of pages. Next to that, we have the word count and the character count, as well as some other important information in using this document. Now, if we follow that all the way over to the right, notice that we have our focus. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, as well as the different view options that we can use in looking at our document. So let's come all the way over to the bottom right-hand corner and talk about Zoom. Zoom is a feature that I use quite a bit as my old eyes are getting older <laughs> and I need to zoom in to some of the smaller fonts. There's a couple of ways to use this. You can either use the slider or you can use the plus and minus. Let me move to a page that has quite a bit of text and we will zoom in and out. Oh, I really like that. So I can actually see it. Now over here to the left, you'll notice that we have different views. 
We have web page layout where we can look at our document as a web page. And then next to web view, we have our primary view, which is print layout. This is the default. Okay. And the last view that we have down here is we have read mode. Oh, that's very different. I like it. You can really see more. It's just like reading a book. Notice that you have your arrow over to the right, and you can also arrow over to the left. And then also... Oh, the ribbon is gone. That's right. So this is your primary focus as you're looking at the document. Christina, there is so much here. How am I going to remember everything? I know it can be overwhelming as a beginner, but one great feature that we have is that it will help you when you hover over any particular feature here. Not only will it tell me the name of that, but a little bit about it. In some cases, it'll tell me the keyboard shortcut. Oh, that is so great. Now I am so much more comfortable getting started in Word. 